What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ4E, and welcome back to the Let's Play for Sip and Days to Die Alpha 18. And we are ready for Horde Night. This is a pretty a pretty substantial base um, for a Horde Night. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. And um, it's only going to get better as things go along. Now, I do have some food issues here. Um, although I probably have had a food get through the day, but I was thinking, or through the night. But then I was thinking, eh, let's just go out and. Wait, is that a diamond? Can anybody tell me where I got a diamond from? <laughs> I mean, where would that have even come from? Huh. I don't know. I'm sure someone will let me know. Anyway, I am going to go out and uh, grab the airdrop uh, because it will probably have some food in it that will help me through Horde Night. Um, let's see how we're going to get in this thing. I did not think of an entrance in this place, which is kind of a bad thing um like i said i could do an underground entrance but like i said with the with the way the zombies are i i don't want to go underground like at all a at any point it's just you know they break uh, one of one demolisher blows up a piece of your floor and then all of a sudden the entire horde is filtering into your you know basement and you can't get underneath there they're digging underneath there it's just, there's no fighting to be had because they're just digging out underneath you and it's just i don't know it's kind of annoying oh i forgot to upgrade this base um, well, let me take a quick look and make sure there's nothing that absolutely has to be upgraded. And maybe I'll do some between cuts. Yeah, there's a little bit that needs to be upgraded. Let's go grab the airdrop, and then what I'll do is I'll upgrade it before the actual, um, night begins. And we're just gonna kind of throw all this stuff up there. Don't need that. <clears throat> do I need any of this stuff? Well, not for now. Not right now. So let's just go ahead and do all that. That. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to the club because you know, until you put it at chest, the next thing you know, you never find your club again, and that's no fun for anyone, son. All right, let's go get. How far is that airdrop? I didn't even look. Oh, it's not that far, but it looks like it's on a house, which could be pretty interesting. I think this is gonna be a pretty quick horde night, which is why I'm doing like some recording before it. Usually, I would just start like pretty much when the horde's starting, because as you get along, um, and the hordes last longer, they're gonna be a lot more badass. And they're gonna, you know. It's going to be a problem. But right now, you know, these hordes uh, really, I mean, they're going to be done pretty quick. Uh, are we at the, is this the building? It is not. There's some gas in there. i got to keep a lookout for that for later. Uh, this this mini bike doesn't use a lot of gas, though. I mean, it's not like I've been doing a lot of traveling, but I have been doing some traveling. Uh, oh, okay. I thought this was a, um, I thought this is the prison. I was like, man, if I find the prison, I want to live there. <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, I've lived in the prison before, but I've never actually lived in the prison before. You know what I mean? Like, um... Oh, you know what? When I was looking at the airdrop, I wasn't actually looking at the airdrop. I was looking at the quest marker. Ugh. It's the second time I've done that. So how far is this airdrop? Eh, it's pretty far, but I do have a mini bike, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, as far as the uh, prison goes, I've lived in the prison, but I've only ever played, like, maybe a 10-episode arc in the prison. I've never actually, like, done an 80-episode series in the prison. Never. And that's sad, because I don't even think the prison is in RNG anymore. I don't even see it. Or, or RWG, Random World Gen. I don't see it anymore, so I don't even know if it's still in Random World Gen. Um, so if it's not, that's a bit of a bummer. All right, guys, here we go. And I also found another traitor. Oh, dude! I went through the whole... I went through 92 episodes, never found one piece of steel armor. Look at this. Holy crap, dude, look at all the ammo. Now that's an airdrop. That's what I'm talking about. I'm glad I went and got that. 92 episodes, never saw one. I didn't even believe they existed. Well, now I do. And I also found this trader. Um, this is probably not the best use of our time at this point of the day, but I'm going to check out this trader because who knows? They might have uh, cool stuff, although I can't afford any of it, but still... There we go. Cool cool area for a trader with this whole cliff here. It's a nice view. It's pretty nice. If, I, if this was like Darkness Falls or whatever and I could live at the trader, I would. Okay. That's nice. Workbench, give me a schematic, you piece of crap. God. Come on now. What's up with that? What's up with that? We have great Shut up. Just give me a bookshelf. I'll take that. Ten more sneak damage, which I'll never use. All right, what do you got, buddy? Um, I will take a job, thank you. Clear zombies, I will. You the man. No, you the man. Uh, volume, nothing. Schematic, nothing. No, I don't care about that. 
Um, BDU top. Okay. Someone said, hey, man, there was a BDU top at one of those things for 80 Dukes or whatever. I was like, oh, that's a good point. Should have bought that. Um, is there anything I could sell here? Oh, I should have bought that diamond. All right, whatever. Uh, nah, 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 nah. I mean, he's not going to restock till day 10, so I can come back and get stuff if I want to. Mm. I'd like to get some eggs. Already oh, by the way, the reason I got the diamond was because of this one. Because of that art of mining book. Um, fish tacos. That doesn't sound right. Um, oh, pistol P. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we'll get it. Um, well, maybe I will. Maybe I'll forget to come back. I don't know. All right, cool. Not yeah, bad. All right, guys, I'm going to get back, finish upgrading the base, get whatever I can done before, you know, the horde comes, and then we will have horde night. Day 7 horde night. All right, guys, and here we are, and we are just about ready to rock and roll. I have a little spot down here, so in case they break in, I can attack the zombies on the inside. Although, I didn't think this out with the ladder. Okay, that, nah, this, is, this should be okay. This should be okay. I should be able to just break this out. Put the hatch down. Now, can I walk up there? Yeah, okay. Now, she, now I just need to come down here and put the hatch down. Try not to fall. There we go. And which way is that going? It's going that way. All right, I want this one to go the same way. Why? I don't know, because I do. There we go. All right, cool. Very good. Very good. All right, so we got our um, crossbow. I'm going to try to use just crossbow bolts for this entire horde. I got the uh, this to back me up. I've also got um, hollow point rounds in case stuff gets real. Um, I, I'm, I think I'm overprepared for day seven with a game stage of 30, but we'll see. We'll see. I've got this, uh, the spikes all around as well as the barbed wire fence. Some of those spikes are upgraded, right? And then, uh, what we'll do is next, uh, next, um, part of the base build will be another tower. And then I will connect them with a walkway. And that will be as far as I've gotten right now. That should take me a, a while. Like, I mean, we're looking at like at least three towers for each side, probably, um, the inside, I want I want enough room on the inside to have four bloodbath and beyonds, and I'm gonna call the I'm gonna call all four of them bloodbath and beyond to the extreme or something. I don't know. I'll think of something, um, but it's gonna be a pretty large area in there that I'm gonna need for those bloodbath and beyonds, and then eventually these towers will not even be manned. They will just be towers. They will have fences connecting them. Well, they'll have poles going sideways connecting them, which will look like fences, which is awesome. Um, and then I'll have four bloodbaths and beyonds on the inside for the ultimate bloodbath and beyond horde base. This is going to be pretty freaking sick. Um, yeah. And I probably could have done this from day one. I really could have. The thing is, I wouldn't have gotten as much looting done. I would have had to come out here. I would have had to mine with stone tools because I didn't know I was going to get iron picks and stuff. I wouldn't be able to do quests. I wouldn't have been able to buy food. Um, you know, so... I'm going to leave my bike right there just in case. I'm going to need this right there. Can we drop anything else? I think we can. We can drop that off. Drop that. And here we go. I'll probably drop the... Um, I'm going to I'm gonna start calling these, um, these things turret bombs. And I will probably drop those just because I can. And there's no reason not to. All right. I am not good with this. Let's see if we can uh, figure this out. There we go. Did I hit him? I don't think I did. All right, what about you? There we go. Let's, for, let's aim for center of mass so we don't outright miss and not go for the headshot. All right, so the spikes are already gone with this weak-ass day seven horde, like, just gone. Spikes are so useless. I mean, they, most of them were wood, but still. All right, so we got some guys right there beating on my wall. Oh, there goes his head. All right, we're going to drop our first turret bomb. I wish I could turn it the other way. All right, whatever. I guess we could just have it going this way. Cover the ones that are coming in. Turret bomb! Now, it's not going to be able to get the ones that are beating on the walls, but it'll get any that come in and weaken them. I, I don't... I got to figure out a way to make it so I could drop it the other way. All right. So, the cool thing about this is we can drag these guys around the, the outside, hopefully. Although, with their AI, they're probably going to want to go for the weakest points, but... So then, oh, that you know what? I'm too far away from the turret. The turret bomb's not gonna work, at least not on this level. I'm gonna have to turn up the levels to the turret bomb. And by, by turn up the levels, I mean I have to put points into the perk, so it, I can go farther away. That's fine. I'll do that. Okay. 
Okay. I'll probably use the hunting rifle just for the lulls. Even though I really don't want to waste the ammo. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to shoot guns. There we go. Got him. Maybe this will make me fall in love with the uh, perception trick. I mean, right now, AP ammo would, or, you know, armor piercing shit, or body piercing, whatever they call it, would go really well right about now. Actually, you know what? This gun's useless inside, so I'm just gonna use it here on Horde Night. Like, when I say inside, I mean in POI runs. Come on, reload. This thing does a lot of damage, but my god, it takes its time to reload. Okay. They're definitely not following me. They're going for the, the easiest part to destroy, which, you know, is to be expected. Hoping to get the get some to come over here. I'm gonna try another turret bomb. Maybe like right here. Oops. And then we'll pull them back over here. Turret bomb! So now there's two down. This one's shooting because it's the one I'm closest to. So when that thing stops shooting, I can go to the one... Actually, I should go to the one back now. So I can control which one shoots by which one I go closer to. Which is pretty neat. Yeah. I'm doing a ton of damage, but I'm... I'm contributing! Okay, you really gotta spec into this thing to make it worth it, I think. I mean, should I even be, like, aiming? I can't get the headshots, but there's also so many of them down there, I'm not missing. Turret's doing work! What? Did I even shoot there? Alright, uh, turret bomb number three. Come on, guys. Come on over here. There you go. Yeah, I'm not I'm not good with the crossbow. It's not doing any damage, and I'm missing a lot. It's really slow if, like, you take your time to aim. Come on. Come on, what the hell? There you go. Come on. Oh, he's already dead. Yeah, this is just not enough. Not enough damage here. Oh, we are I'm getting dogs, too. Yeah, this thing's really weird. It, like, unzooms sometimes before the shot actually goes off. That's annoying. I can't even tell if I'm hitting anything. I'd imagine I am. I mean, there's a big cluster of zombies there. I mean, if I'm not hitting anything there, I'm calling BS. But the thing is, I'm not hitting them in the head. And if you don't hit stuff in the head in this game, it's, it's, you might as well not even shoot. But it's like, this is impossible for me to hit him in the head. Okay. I got one! Two down. Nope, she's not dead. Come on. Come on. I gotta get a shotgun. That's what I need, like a pump shotgun. My my uh, skill tree is shotgun, but the problem is, like, using a, you know, a double barrel shotgun from up here is kind of pointless, isn't it? Come on. Die already. There you go. Okay. Well, we'll see. This might be the last- No, this is not the last wave. Okay, all my spikes are gone. All that work. All gone. Well, the wooden ones are. We gotta get the- We gotta get the metal spikes. Those are the real spikes. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Hey, guys. Stop moving around so erratically. Makes it hard to hit you. Alright, this, this corner is definitely the, the worst off. So let's come to this corner. There you go. I think more barbed wire would be nice. I do have an easier time hitting when they're on barbed wire. It's <sighs> a lot of zombies, dude. Um, it's nice for the experience, at least. She dead. Oh, good. Huh. I wish I put two sets of iron bars here. I'm afraid I'm going to fall off the edge. Pistol's doing work, at least. Love that freaking... I keep wanting to call it high-powered. I love that hollow point. Alright, let's go down and get that. Uh, the thing is, if we go down, we have no easy way of getting back up. Alright, this is going to be tough. Ooh, are we going to hurt our legs by dropping? I didn't think about that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to hurt my legs by dropping down there. Actually, maybe I can get out from the bottom. No, they didn't even dig out a... Maybe they didn't do as much damage to the base as I was thinking. I thought they were breaking in, man. I thought they were inside. Dress shoes. Okay. Well, there you go. That's my loot. Yeah, they actually, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Overall. Um, they didn't do as much damage as I thought they were going to. But still, that's that's a bit much. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to... I don't know. I might lower that. I might not. It depends. It's definitely not an all-night thing, though. So, it seems like a lot of zombies for uh, Day 7 Horde. But we did we did, uh, we did, did survive it, so that's awesome. All right, guys, and I am back. And that was a, that was an interesting Horde. So, some people in chat were telling me that um, the crossbow was basically doing nothing. Because <laughs> you're just hitting bodies. You're not really hitting the head that much. And it's, it's like, it takes five seconds to shoot it. Um, and once I started using the gun, it did exhaust the horde. It's true. It felt like a long horde night, but it really wasn't. Um, they tore out all my spikes. Most of them were wood. And they honestly didn't do a lot of damage to the base. Um, you know, so it wasn't that bad. Uh, yeah. I will probably turn it down a little bit, though, because it was a bit much for day seven. But we'll see. We will see. I'll have to think about that. The other thing I'm thinking about is the entrance. How do I want to make an entrance to this? What I would normally do for an entrance is I would make a pillar going all the way up to level, and then I would just put a couple blocks out and then walk over there. The problem is those pillars get torn down every horde night because, like, the zombies have, like, a random thing to them where some of the zombies will just randomly attack things, and they always attack those pillars and always tear them down. And that kind of sucks. Um, the pillar's pretty cheap, though. If I can use it for seven days, even if it gets torn down, what's the big... What's the big deal? I don't know. The other thing I could do is I could put a ladder up there, but I don't think I want to mess around with a ladder on my base. Um, and the third solution was to make an underground passageway into the base. I don't like digging underground because once the once the demolishers come, they will blow up the ground and it will be bad, uh, especially if they can get down into the ground. Although, if you dig a hole underground... And the demolisher blows up. Yeah, the zombies will fall into the hole that you dug underground. But I got news for you. If the, if there's no hole underground and the demolishers blow up, you've still got a big hole in the ground. They're still going to be un, like under the level of the ground. So, you know, it probably doesn't matter. I think I'm going to just dig underground and kind of make an entrance in there. And I'm going to do it from this angle because this will be the inside of my base. Or... You know what? I take that back. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna build a. I'm gonna build another tower right here because these towers will be going this way. I'm gonna build another tower right here, and then I'm going to start 
by building the underground tunnel thing from this angle. And I was thinking about building the underground tunnel from this angle, but that's not going to work because th there'll be a there'll be a wall here eventually and another tower over here. So if I put another tower right there, I could build the underground entrance from here and it will go right into that tower and then I can get from tower to tower. And I do want to build a second tower because these towers are not as solid um, as I once thought because of that horde knight. I'm, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The bow is done for me in every way, shape, or form. I might use it uh, when I'm clearing out POIs just to get rid of the bolts, but I'm never going to use a bow again. Um, the only way I'll ever use the bow again is if I go into the agility tree. And I don't like the agility tree because I don't like stealth. I don't like stealth at all. I don't really like any of these either. Is running gun good with a bow? I wonder. It's probably better with the pistol. So maybe if you can go archery, gunslinger, machete... Run and gun. I don't know. I really don't like this tree. <laughs> so if I'm not going to go in that tree, I'm not going to use bows anymore. But I don't know. A lot of people like a lot of people in chat say they don't like the bow, and some people say they love the bow. So I don't know. Hey man, you know that's that's the that's the way the game is balanced, and it's balanced in a really excellent way because the fact that we can't agree on which weapon is best shows that the fun pimps did a really good job balancing. So I think we can all agree to that, right? I think it's pretty pretty well balanced. All right, guys. I'm going to call this one a little bit early because there's not much else to do here. Um, if you never joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.